So if you've been keeping up with my channel, then you know I recently did a big chop and a haircut to my hair. So I'm going to show you how you can get a very similar look using this eye part wig from I Like Hair. So this is what the packaging looks like, super cute, high-end looking. And I'm gonna show you everything that you receive in your package. So the first thing that you get is this edge brush and comb, double-sided. You also receive these two hair clips, and you'll also get this little hair, sparkly hair clip that says, I like. They'll also send you two wig caps and a rat tail comb. And then of course, you get the wig itself. And this is how it comes packaged, and this is what it looks like straight out of the packaging. Super, super soft, super pretty. What makes this wig so unique and special is that it has a true roots closure which matches the roots of your hair and gives the illusion that it's growing from your scalp. It requires no glue, no lace, and no leave out, or if you choose, you can have very, very minimal leave out, and it's super beginner friendly. So I'm going to start off by co-washing the hair with some conditioner. For this video, I'm using all LUS products because you guys know I have been loving their products lately and I want to use what I'm currently using on my real hair since I'm trying to make this wig match my real hair the best that I can. So I'm just co-washing it, running it through the hair and I'm going to brush it through and detangle. And then I'm just going to let that sit in the hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm just going to rinse out all the conditioner with cool water. After I rinse out the product, I'm gonna go ahead and start styling the wig. Again, I'm using LUS products. I'm gonna start with the LUS All-in-One Styler and rake that through the hair. And you wanna make sure the hair is wet. And then I'm going to apply some of the Irish CMOS gel on top for a little bit more hold. And do not laugh at my wig stand, you guys. I don't have a wig stand, <laughs> so this is just my tripod covered with a microfiber towel on top and just plop the wig right on top, but hey, it works. <laughs> And this is what it looks like once all the styling products have been applied and I'm just going to let that air dry overnight. So this is what the wig looks like once I let it dry overnight. So I did get my hair braided down, my daughter braided down my hair and she knows how to braid her own hair but the thing is she said my hair was harder for her to braid because it's a lot of a looser like silkier texture so she said she couldn't really grab the hair too well. She tried her best but the braids were like super bulky like even bulkier than if I just slick my hair back. So I just slick my hair back. I didn't slick it back super sleek because I wanted to keep a little bit of texture at the um, part line right here so that it will blend a little bit easier so I didn't like pull like super super tight but I just braided the back of it and pinned it to my head one thing about curly hair and curly wigs it's pretty forgiving so I'm not really too concerned about any bulkiness or anything like that because Curly hair is kind of more like floofy and voluminous, so it hides any type of like bumps and lumps pretty good. So they sent over two of these wig caps. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the wig caps and I'm not gonna put it, of course, over the part, but I am gonna put it over my hair like this and this will help to contain this back right here and just kind of like flatten it for me a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put it about halfway and leave my part out. And as you can see, I'm going for a middle part today. Of course, you can also do a side part if that's your preference. So for the construction on the inside, you can see that you have three combs here. You have two on the sides and then you have one in the back. You have your strap right here and it has five of these comb clips at the top near the part. And this is what they call their true roots closure. So it matches the roots of your real hair and it gives you that illusion that the 
hair from the wig is growing directly out of your scalp. So what you do want to do before you go ahead and pop this baby on is you want to go ahead and take a small comb like this so you can use the edge brush that they gave you or that they sent you in the package and you can just go ahead and lightly tease right here and back comb by the part and this is going to help again to blend it in even more with your natural part and then after I tease it I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and then for the top part here you want to start off with this clip right here that goes in the back and then the ones that go to the part. And you want to clip this as close to your natural part as you can and that's just going to make it look the most natural. So I applied it super close to my root and if you're finding that you still need to blend it in a little more, you can always just keep teasing and just kind of frizz it out at the root a little bit. So now we have our wig on, I'm going to go ahead and style this thing because I haven't fluffed it out or anything. I just put the styling products and slapped it on. So I'm gonna take some of this LUS Elixir Oil. This stuff is awesome. I do have a coupon code if you wanna check it out. It actually has seven different oils in it and it's really good for your hair, skin, and nails. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, drop that into my hands, rub it together, and just go through the hair a little bit. Now you can see the wig does have a little bit of layers already in it, so you can definitely keep it like this if you prefer, but I'm personally going to add some more layers. I want it to kind of look like my natural hair is right now. So I'm just going to take the hair from each side and I'm just gonna cut some of those ends off. So the ends can look a little bit more full like this and then just kind of shape it, put a little bit more layers in it. So on this side over here, this is more of the shape that we're going for. You can see a before and after. So this is just how the wig came, no cutting or trimming on this side. And this is the side that I went ahead and shaped up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that process on this side over here. So this is what it looks like when I went ahead and shaped up both sides of the wig. So I just gave myself some more layers and some more bodies. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut some bangs in the front. Now you can definitely leave it like this. This is super cute, love it. But I want, again, I want this to kind of look like my natural hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and section off some pieces in the front. So this is what it looks like now that I have shaped up and trim some bangs. Let me give you guys a full 360 view. Now I can go shorter on these bangs, but I don't wanna go shorter because I wanna be able to still wear the wig with a part. So if I do wanna wear it with a part, kinda of like my natural hair, I can still go ahead and put it off to the side. So this is what it looks like with the bangs to the side. So I think it's super, super cute. It's pretty similar to my natural hair texture when I floof it out. It's a little bit kinkier than my natural hair, but I like that it's versatile. Like you can style it with your defining products and make it a little bit more defined, or you could floof it out. I'm sure I could floof it out even more than this, but I don't wanna stray too far away from this look because this is kind of how my natural hair looks and I want to be able to slap this thing on whenever I don't feel like doing my natural hair and nobody, like, who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> A lot of you guys liked how my haircut turned out in my Big Chop video, which is very similar to this haircut. So I recommend if you guys are considering cutting your hair, try this wig first and like see if you like it 
kind of like wear it for a bit, live in it for a bit, see if you like the look before you go ahead and actually cut your hair or just don't cut your hair at all and just buy this wig whenever you wanna have this look. This is definitely, definitely beginner friendly. You guys, I am a beginner. I'm not a wig connoisseur by any means. I've worn a wig maybe one other time and you guys saw that years ago, maybe like 10 years ago. But yeah, I'm not a wig person at all, but I do wanna experiment more with my hair. So you are probably gonna see me doing some more wig videos. So if you guys liked this, let me know definitely down below in the comments. If you guys like this wig and you want to check it out and purchase, I do have a discount code. It's Gabby25. I'll have it down below as well as the direct link to this wig that I am wearing today. Again, this is the 18 inch eye part wig and it looks super natural and very easy very fun and very good for a protective style as well. If you don't wanna manipulate your natural hair or do anything to your natural hair, you just wanna be lazy. <laughs> so yeah, let me know down below what you guys' thoughts are on this wig and how you think it turned out. I absolutely love it. It's super natural looking. I would be very comfortable going out in public in this and feel like nobody's gonna know, so. Yeah, definitely check this one out. I think this one is a must. If you're a wig wearer, I think this one is a must have for like a natural looking wig that you can just throw on. You don't have to worry about lace. You don't have to worry about glue. And it's just, it's just a slap on and go type of deal, you know? <laughs> So yeah, if you guys like this video, you wanna see more of these types of videos, wig videos, let me know down below in the comment section. And thank you again to I Like Hair for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss any future uploads. But until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.